all right so welcome back to white house farm uh what we're doing today is replacing our starter solenoid and many of you may have run into this issue where you go ahead and you turn your key on gauges work you go ahead and try and start it and nothing not a click not a nothing now i'll show you because uh we just replaced the uh, ignition switch here, so we know it's not that. And when we come down through here, there's our starter solenoid right there. Now, if you take a metal object, because what happens with starter solenoids, uh, it receives 12 volts of power from one side to the other. And if your solenoid's not working, it's not gonna get the power and it's not going to come down this yellow red wire here that's connected to your starter and it's not going to power it on for you so let me grab a, a screwdriver here and i'll show you how you could do a, a simple test to see if it is your solenoid and not your starter um, make sure to check out my starter video there we go it's down in there right there so i got a little metal object here and we're just going to connect the two posts to uh, make the connection for the 12 volt and it should pop open you should hear it start yep all right so you can see that uh, we obviously have a problem with our solenoid so let's go ahead and take that off and we'll go ahead and get a new one on here and if you haven't already make sure to check out the video on how to test uh, a solenoid all right so first thing before removing that we want to go ahead and disconnect our power all right so there's two bolts that hold the starter solenoid on but we need to disconnect our wires here first and there's All right, so now we have two more wires up top there. And this is your negative over on this side. All right, so we got all of our wires off, so now So now we just need to take that bolt off the, up top there and there's one more right below it. And looks like it's an 11 mil for those. All right, there's one. Now we get that bottom one there. Try not to drop anything down in there. All right, there's the nut. And then this whole piece should come right out. There we go. All right, so there's your starter solenoid. And that's the issue that we were having. So if you have anything similar to that, check this out because this is only like a $14 part versus a $300 starter. So, and we knew it was an ignition switch. So, brand new ignition switch in there. The other one was all corroded anyways. So make sure to check out that video. All right, let's go ahead and get the new one in here. All right, there we go. We got our new starter solenoid in and that's the part number. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description. That way if you're looking to get one. I actually leave a couple links uh, also to the uh, actual Sierra. Sierras are a little bit more expensive, probably better <laughs> quality build. Only time will tell with this, but it is new and hopefully should work. So 
I went ahead and cleaned up a lot of the wires here with the wire brush and got them pretty clean. Got them copper again, but then I also noticed like this one, I'm going to go ahead and clip that because it's starting to get some corrosion in there. And I'm going to put a new, uh, and I'm going to put a new terminal on. Got this kit right here. Obviously, it doesn't come in the DeWalt. I just that's where I put my stuff. So those kits that they come with, they tend to fall apart. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a new one out. And these are also uh, they have the heat shrink tubing on it, and they seal them up pretty nice. So they make a good connection. So let's go ahead and clip that wire, get a new uh, connector on, and then we'll get the solenoid uh, reattached to everything. Oh, there's the old one. You can see the, the corrosion on the inside there. So might as well just replace it. We're back here, we're in here, we're doing this. Might as well do it right. Yeah, and no corrosion coming down because I, I cut it down far enough. Rest of the wire looks good. And another good thing I like about this kit, it's got the smaller gauge wires with the bigger openings. Because as you can see, for the terminal it goes on, it needs to have a big opening. So these definitely come in pretty handy. All right, so 10 to 12 gauge. And this I believe is, Twelve gauge, yep. Oh, you get get that in there. All right, that's on there. Good. Go ahead and seal it up. All right, so that's on there now. Nice secure connection, cleaned up. Everything else is cleaned up and uh, looks good. So let's go ahead and connect up this solenoid. And they do give you an option, depending on what type of clips you wanna use. So you can add these on there if you wanna use the push-on. Uh, I use the rounded uh, with the actual nuts just for, I think it holds better and these won't slip off. These tend to get corroded a lot more too. Clean up our actual bolts that hold it in. All right, so we got our new one here. Let's go ahead and get it mounted up in here. And remember, this side's gonna face up like this when you're looking at it. Then you got your ground, your positives, positive to starter, and then your ignition. Also make sure your battery's disconnected, which it already should be because we took this off. Alright, so we got our two bolts on there now, so now we can go ahead and tighten that up. Alright, so you need the tiny lock washer and tiny nut. We're going to go ahead and hook up, hook up our negative back here. That's the all black wire right here. And that's simply gonna go, let me get it on there. Go on that top one, just like that. 
So let's get the lock washer and nut on there. And now on this side, we're gonna want our ignition wire, which is the red and yellow, because that's what sends power to the solenoid. When you key on, we'll get that on there and we'll get our lock washer and nut. Now we can go ahead and tighten those two up. So now for our two power wires here, they're going to go on this top terminal right here. And once again, you got a lock washer and you have your nut. Now we're going to go ahead and get our starter wire here, which is also yellow and red. Put that on there and lock washer and nut and those are going to be a 10 millimeter to tighten so now you can see where the wiring goes and how this goes back in uh, so you won't get confused on anything and like i said this is the starter wire it's the same as the ignition wire in the back here but the ignition wire is a lot thinner uh, this one's uh, thicker and it goes up through comes through the harness here all the way down and you can see where it connects down onto your starter right here so I figure I'd just point that out to you guys so we have the new starter in and a new terminal for that one wire we are all connected back up here uh, last thing we need to do is go ahead and reconnect our battery here uh, another thing I want to just point out um, just for people that are wondering uh, if you are having more issues and stuff a lot of times if you take this hose clamp off and pull your main harness off here th this is a plug it actually plugs right in if you pull that out and take a look at it you might have some corrosion in there so normally you can clean that out and then put a little dielectric grease in there and then plug this back in and then uh, clamp down that the clamp hose the hose clamp there and uh, that may solve your issues too so just another thing to point out if you're troubleshooting and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and get this battery hooked back up and we'll fire it up and see if it works. So make sure to check out the video on installing rockers and new fuses. Uh, we've got a video coming out how to carbon fiber go over your dashes. That's what that one <laughs> that used to look like that. But all right, let's go ahead and turn the key on and not even going to pump it because normally with my boat it'll start on the first or second try and fire right up one try yep there we go So we're all set here and I do have a spare uh, that I took off our parts boat out back and I'm gonna go ahead and keep this uh, I keep stuff under our seats uh, for stuff that could possibly happen out on the water I got extra belts in there got oil got I'll have this now a bunch of different stuff because uh, you never know and it's an easy fix you could do right on the boat uh, so we're all set here new starter solenoid Make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button, helps the channel. Go ahead and subscribe, share, 
And as usual, we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye guys. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right, bye, Obo. Bye, guys.